so when I think about skincare, when you guys are saying it, you don't need a 15 step regimen, yeah. what do people need? Is it a three to four step regimen? What would mm -hmm. you? So the way we divvy up the industry is into just cleanse, moisturize, sun protect, and those are your three basics. Okay. Right. If okay. you do cleanse, nothing else, moisturize, these three sun protection. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then treatments is definitely the one that can target you know these long term skin concerns, wrinkles, pigmentation, but at the end of the day, if all you have time for is, you know, the basics, then we would just say the core three, right. you know, and then, yeah. What is a cleanser? What, what is like a good cleanser need to have in it? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely shouldn't pay a lot for it. Um, you shouldn't pay a lot for no. it. No. If you want to save somewhere, cleanser is probably one of those things because okay. It, it's simply for the function of cleaning. Do any big names make a good cleanser? Yeah, actually cleanser from a chemist perspective is not the easiest thing to formulate. Mm. And a lot of bigger companies have pretty good cleansing formulas. I want to say one thing that as a, if you're trying to get more serious about skincare, something you should consider replacing is soap-based cleansers because they're usually a little bit too stripping, especially if you have dry and sensitive skin. And that actually can cause a lot of irritation in the long run. Not saying it's bad for all skin type because like soap's been around forever, but just saying in something that's worth upgrading. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. What's yeah, a good range of dollars people should spend on a cleanser that you guys would say? Oh, Is it anywhere between five and- 25? 25. Nothing, I well, I don't think, I've seen cleansers that cost like $120. Like, don't do that. It's not, like, <laughs> yeah. distilled okay. mermaid tears in my right? yeah. It's just marketing, It's just marketing. Yeah, and yeah. So we mentioned cleansing, what was the second one? And then Moisturize, there was sunscreen. sunscreen. Moisturize, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to break this down because I don't have any idea. Yeah. When it comes to cleansing, is it cleansing twice a day, morning and night? Um, you don't have to. No. Just once no. a day is once a day fine. Is if you can cover once a day, then you're golden. Um, Any time of the day, whether it's nighttime. Night. night yeah, night, night would be time. best because... Okay, good. I shower at night. That's when I cleanse. <laughs> yes. Think okay. about like daily grime, accumulation of sweat, mm -hmm. all yeah. of that. It's best to at least before cover Before you go to bed, yeah, probably. Before bed. Okay. Yeah. So, moisturizer is the tough one for me. And I then generally wear When do you skin. moisturize? The mornings? Uh, we recommend morning and night. Yeah. Okay. When I moisturize, the moisturizer I use has a SPF. It's 30 SPF. Okay. Also. So it's got a sunblock and a moisturizer. So it'll be just for day. Right. Is that good? Or it, should we not blend anything? Oh, no. That's great. Actually. Great. Okay. Um, especially right. for those who are like <laughs> finicky Lazy. with sunscreen. Oh, yeah. um, Oily skin, yeah. I'm the same, gets really I oily. I hate wearing moisturizer. Right, mm. too. But it smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's and important. It, it happens to have an SPF. Yeah. So no, I'm like, it's okay, great. I'm doing what I need to and do. And with SPF, we just want to say that our go to recommendation is you know what, forget about that's a one category we'll say forget about the chemist recommendation, forget about what anyone says. If you enjoy using it and you're willing to use it every day, like if it smells delicious, yeah. that's that's it. And that's the biggest struggle with sunscreen is a lot of people don't have good sunscreen habits or they don't like it so they don't wear it every day yeah. so yeah. what do you call winning right so mm. if i start a business yeah i would imagine the revenue the views the users the adoption okay. i can view as like this is working uh -huh. mm -hmm. when it comes to putting things on your fit like if i subscribe to a diet i would mm -hmm. say okay is my body fat going down mm -hmm. what is my bmi is my weight going down how mm -hmm. do i feel good mm -hmm. there's clear indicators of success mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this world of putting things on my face, there isn't. Well, well that's because you're blessed with I know. Skin. For me, it's lack of sun damage, controlling my acne, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. not having oily really skin, oil control, like, ro a rosacea, can, like yeah, all these things that but, I would have, those are measurements. <laughs> but if I started a new program yeah. today, right, uh -huh. like a new diet, let's say, it, would, it wouldn't, I would still have to maybe take two weeks, right, for right. things to really right. start to set in. Yes. Okay, yeah. of consistency. Yep, yes. skincare still needs time to work. I would say in your case, you will know if it works probably 10 years down the road. Wow. <laughs> because so that's of, a terrifying thought. Because of, yeah. you know, what, because developing your skin wrinkles, good. you know, mm -hmm. are you developing oh, sunspots? No. It's stuff like that that yeah. is the really what's going to This doesn't show. help, though, because that means I could be on the wrong path I know, for 10 years. I know, the next day, if something isn't working. So that's such a good point that you brought that up, because when we first started, like Victoria mentioned, we are like, yeah, science, everyone should subscribe to it. And then when we do more, as we go down into this rabbit hole, we realize, like, okay, we understand why skincare is a little gets a little culty because yeah. it is a belief system right you have to trust it's in what you're using it's a software yeah you <laughs> like have I'm, to just believe that it works you, right? blindly for 10 years 
<laughs> right. So, I mean, there is certain uh, areas of skincare where you see results faster, mm-hmm. right? We say you still have to be consistent, but you can see, say, lessening spots. You can notice uh, lessen your fine lines or um, just sunspots in 4 to 12 weeks. That's usually how long a skincare clinical testing is. Mm-hmm. But in terms of age prevention, especially if you have pretty good starting, a, st- a pretty good starting point like you, Diego, then that it gets a little religious. <laughs> yeah. That you just have to believe that this is preventing aging. Yeah. 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 yeah, but you should do it either way. Yeah, well, no one's. Are you really gonna do half your face in the name of science? Right. Yeah. I, actually I, I, I actually would. I would. actually would. He would call you all the trials on himself. All right, call you all. back in ten years. Yeah. <laughs> I won't. I, I, well, come, yeah. Come, let us take measurements. We'll start you on the clinical. Right. Would it be I night and day? Let's let's let's, your face. let's yeah. pretend we did that. Let's pretend we subscribe to this mm-hmm. in ten years time. And I put nothing on one side mm-hmm. and the system that I mentioned to you about on the other side. So would you know? Like would yes. it be very yes. clear? You would. Yes. I mean there's a clear, very, like very clear. Very clear. There's a really <laughs> famous study of a truck driver mm-hmm. and he is driving on one side, so that means oh. in this while he's driving, the sun only hits one side of his face. Mm-hmm. And you can see very clearly the distinction of damage on one side versus the other. So the sun causes a tremendous amount the of damage. The most damage. It is the biggest damage. source of damage. Aside from aging. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Great that we're in SoCal, right? <laughs> I know. Right? I know. Okay. It's a great point. And I was going to just add on that the science can only try to bring logic mm-hmm. to all of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't tell the whole picture and will never tell the whole picture for every single individual just because skin is so personal it involves your lifestyle your stress your age you know your genetics everything and so with that like we always tell people if it's working for you you found something you like it doesn't matter what we say if you pay 150 dollars and it works like great you know keep going there's no reason for you to abandon something that works and try to start over because you heard some celebrity you know is using some miracle treatment if it sparks joy do it if it sparks joy (laughs) Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.